it's Liz Yule from Old Sables Crafts again and welcome back to my uh, thank you gift series or mini series. Um, this is today's project um, and it's using up some DSP, so designer series paper that I have got lying around. Um, it's a good time of year to use up designer series paper because it's all going away. So this is a little box, um, obviously, um, and inside I have got a lip salve, lip balm, um, and this is um, just a, a pink one, so I've chosen pink paper, and this is from the uh, Blooms and Bliss paper, um, and it's just a little kind of mini pizza box style. Um, so, and then I've got um, just a little tag, some Blushing Bride ribbon and um, uh, baker's twine and some um, flowers from the hmm, Purr Bunch Punch. Yes, Blossom Bunch Punch, which is retiring. I'm very sad about that. Anyway, um, so that's that one. Uh, the, what I'm going to make now is with this blue um, lip salve. So I am going to use some of my leftover um, Affectionately Yours and this is the specialty designer series paper so we've got all that lovely copper coming through so I'm going to be using copper, copper highlights and this is actually a scrap I used this um, on an earlier project and this is the bit that was left um, so copper so as I say this is five by five um, I will put the measurements including the metric onto my um, blog uh, and the link to that will be below and that will be the one for these measurements so that um, some Whisper White just for the stamping and it is just a scrap um, and then a scrap of Crumb Cake and a scrap of Daffodil Delight for the Blossom Bunch um, some Knight of Navy ink and then I'm using the Thanks from the Jar of Love set and this is carrying over um, but if you want the bundle you need to get it before the 31st of May because the bundle price will go um, on the 1st of June so that's just worth bearing in mind and then the very vanilla ribbon and this is about 15 inches um, and I'll use some Knight of Navy uh, Baker's Twine and some rhinestones um, so let's get started I'll cover the other punches as we go so the first thing to do obviously um, or I say obviously I think obviously is to score so scoring tool and the box measures let's just bring it back in this is three inches by one inch square so this is one inch um, so this is a piece of five by five and I'm just going to score at one inch two inches three inches and four inches and then turn through 90 degrees and score at one inch and oop, that wasn't very square um, or straight one inch and four inches now because this is the specialty paper this is actually slightly thicker um, than the ordinary designer series paper um, so whereas with the paper I just creased with my fingers with this because it's um, a thicker uh, paper I am actually going to bring in my bone folder and just gently so not as not as vigorously as I would if it was cardstock um, I'm going to crease all of these lines and there we go so I don't know how well yeah you can see that reasonably well so I'm going to cut up um, all of these So we'll cut all of them to begin with and then I will cut into some of them but we'll cover that as we go now at this point if you've got an obvious pattern this is where you want to decide which is going to be your top um, and which is going to be your bottom um, and if it's got a uh, an up and down pattern um, then 
to decide which way you're having that. Um, I've got the choice of that or that, and I think I'm going to go for that. So this will be my front. So I'll work on these three for the moment. So I want to wedge into these two because those will go on the inside where they'll sort of be sandwiched. Um, so we'll wedge into those and then cut them down a bit, just to cut down on the bulk. So let's get rid of that. And then, I don't know if you can see in there no not really um, okay so those will be on the inside and then I'm going to bring these round um, so I do need to make sure that everything is square um, and that nothing is sticking out at an alarming angle um, right so and actually that should be that way round so that looks okay so what I'm checking for is to see whether I need to trim down um, the back edge anywhere um, because depending on how well you've cut um, depends on whether they line up properly. No, so that looks all right. All right. So uh, this is going on the inside. So fast fuse. Just pop some fast fuse on both of those and then so this is your front, so that's that needs to go on last. So with your back, bring this round and just line up the straight edge to the crease and stick. And the straight edge to the crease. And then these are going to come round the back, like that. So we need to put some adhesive on those. And you do need to make sure that you have covered all the edges um, oop, and preferably not put it all over your grid paper um, because as I say this is this is now the outside of your box and then bring that round and line up so that it is square All fingers and thumbs today. There we go. And then these will come round the front. And these, these, the front pieces will go to the back. So we need to put some glue on those. So I have to say the weather here in Oxfordshire has perked up a bit. Um, and we've actually got some sunshine, which is nice. It was a bit overcast yesterday. Um, the forecast is potentially for a bit of a heat wave. So that will be nice. Although inevitably we'll then have thunderstorms because that's what happens in the UK. Right, so to then get this cut here, um, this is a real courage of your convictions. And my, my recommendation is that you actually fold it back on itself so like that and then take your snips and you may want a longer pair of scissors if you feel that you need more conviction and you literally just line it up from the corner to the corner so effectively like that and snip and there you have your little lid like that and then to make it a bit easier to open up um, you want to bring in um, I'm using the half inch hole punch but any of the smaller hole punches and then just eyeball where the middle is and punch a kind of third of a circle um, and that will just make it a little bit easier to to grasp um, but that's the basic box so we can pop our lip gloss lip salve in there and now to do the stamping so somewhere on here I have got the bits I need for that uh, I need that oh there we are couldn't see it for looking so 
Um, I've mounted my thanks. This is actually on the B block. Knight of Navy, tap, tap, tap. Make sure you're well inked and because you can see through it, um, there shouldn't be any problem with that. And then I'm, this is a photopolymer, so if you're worried, you can use a stamp and pierce mat. Um, but I happen to know that um, mine stamps well because I've used it a lot. And then bring in the one and three eighth inch circle punch. And I want that as far down the image, as far down as I can get it in the circle just because that's where I want it. So that's that. And then with my copper and the one and a half inch circle punch, I'm just going to punch out a circle from that. And then uh, on the copper piece, I'm going to bring in my one eighth hole punch and just punch a circle in the top of that. And that is so I can put my Knight of Navy thread through, which I will do now. And then with some dimensionals, just pop those on the back. Actually, I just want to, before I stick that down, I want to tie this in a knot because I can then trap the end under one of the, dim the dimensionals. And I'll show you what I mean by that when I've tied my little knot. So just a little knot there, trim it down so you've got a little bit of end sticking out, then bring that to the front, and then when you stick your dimensionals, your tag on, um, you can trap that under the dimensionals. Um, and that way, you know, that's not terribly square, but you get the idea if you can have square on a circle. But that way, you know that your knot's not, your knot is not, um, the knot is not going to scoot round. So, uh, very vanilla ribbon. And what I tend to do is do the first bit of the knot and then pop on the tag say first bit of the knot, first bit of the bow, and then slip the tag on, and that will obviously just happily sit the way you want it. Tie your bow, getting it as tight as you can, which as you know on camera is always interesting trying to tie a bow, but there we go. Okay, so that's that. Then with my snips, just angle there and there, just so we've got a tidy end. Uh, so that's that bit. Then all we need to do is bring in our punch. And then let's see which way around shall I do this. I will do, I'm just using the medium and the small flower punch, flowers. So that's one. And then from the Daffodil Delight, I will use the small, actually I can probably get it out of that piece there. Yes, I can. Waste not, want not. So let's get rid of the bits that aren't rubbish. So, uh, mini glue dots. I used to have a brain. Mini glue dots. I want that side to be down because I happen to know that there is stamping on it. And then I'm going to bring in, she says, famous and last words. Uh, that's what I want. So this is the um, insert from the um, acrylic block uh, case. And I'm just going to, now that I've got that shaped, uh, uh, stuck together, I'm going to shape it with the end of my um, pokey tool. Um, and now I'm going to bring in my rhinestones. Now these are carrying over, but not in the same configuration. Um, but they are, whoops, they are going to carry over. So let's just make sure that's down, which it is. I'm also going to pop one on to my thanks, just to give it a bit of bling. 
then another sticky dot and pop that there I think and there we are so uh, let's close this one up just so you can see most of it so those are the two little boxes I've made one for the the pink version and one for the navy version so I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, so all the dimensions will be on my um, the associated blog post, which is linked below, and that's direct to this blog, uh, to this post. Um, if you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, um, hit the subscribe button, which is my face, which is either there now or coming up. Um, if you want any of the supplies whilst they are still available, and not all of these are available, I, they will be linked on the blog post, which is below. Uh, there's also a, sh a link to my shopping page anyway below, and also how to join. Um, remember that it's always a good time to join. Um, it's £99, which includes free shipping, and for that you get £130 of uh, product of your choice. So you can either get ahead of the game and do that now uh, and then you'll be able to get any of the items that as demonstrators we're allowed to choose on pre-order or if you wait until the 1st of June then obviously you can get anything from the new catalogue. On the subject of which if you still haven't got a catalogue and would like one um, and you intend to buy from me so this would only be for UK residents um, if you, as I say, if you intend to buy from me, then you'll find a form asking for a catalogue on my uh, blog. Um, it's an honour thing. I do have to pay for catalogues and the postage. So um, if you just want a free catalogue and don't intend buying from me, I would ask that you don't ask for a catalogue. Um, but if you do intend to buy from me and would like a new catalogue, then by all means, please um, please ask for that on my blog. And I would be very happy to send one out to you free of charge. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed that. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.